Do you want to check out IT Pro TV but aren't ready to commit? We're making a few episodes from our most popular courses free for you to try here on YouTube so you can see what they're all about. Enjoy this episode and head over to itpro.tv when you're ready to see the full course. Welcome to another great show right here on IT Pro TV. That's right. We are going to introduce you to the CompTIA Network Plus N10008 exam as well as this course. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm Ronnie Wong, like I said, and I actually have with me Wes Bryan. And he's going to be, of course, our subject matter expert for this show. So, Wes, why don't you go ahead and just tell us a little bit about yourself as we get started? Oh, most definitely. And, you know, so I've been doing CompTIA technical training for a little bit better part of a decade now. Uh, and I've definitely taught things like A, I've taught uh, Net, and several uh, versions, if you will, of Net, and now the N10008. Uh, and um, I've worked in traditional instructor led training as well as online, um, you know, an online platform as well. So, really, really excited about this, uh, you know, this course and uh, being able to to present it to you all so that you all can get certified in that net plus exam yeah and in my background i also have taught comptia in the past as well as cisco so the network uh, in infrastructure and of course the network technologies that we're talking about are right inside of my wheelhouse i've also been an instructor for about 15 years as well and of course helped out with a couple of different companies and helping them get their infrastructure set up too so that means we are ready to dive into a little bit more so wes when somebody starts with this course, mm -hmm. what are they actually trying to get? Who's our particular tar target here? Well, you know, our main audience, Ronnie, for this one is going to be those that are well, want to be exam candidates. And by that, I mean that you are looking to get Net Plus certified in the latest objectives, uh, as well as maybe you're already, you already have a Network Plus certification. Maybe you need some CEUs and you're trying to renew your certification. So you want to find out what is the latest and greatest uh, of the objectives that are contained within the Net Plus exam. So really two options audiences, but with the main focus being those that are driving towards certification. Uh, and that's what we hope to do here. We hope to give you uh, a um, good overview of the concepts that you're going to face when you sit in the exam booth come that Network Plus exam. All right. So Wes, if somebody's starting off with this show, is there any prerequisite that they have to have? Well, only the prerequisites I would say that uh, CompTIA recommends. Uh, CompTIA recommends that if you're coming into the Net Plus exam, that you ha you do have around uh, well at least the A plus uh, you know certification under your belt. Uh, and because this is so heavily focused in networking, they also say at least nine to uh, twelve months or about a year's experience in just generalized networking environment. And that's going to be important when it comes to uh, you know sitting this course, taking this course, um, and the course itself. Well, it's going to be divided into five domains, we're going to start out with some of the basic foundational skills uh, that you need really to just learn the language of networking. Uh, so we'll start there and then we'll move into some additional topics. We'll move into implementations. We'll go from the foundations. Once we have that foundational uh, information under our belts, we'll look into uh, how we implement those technologies inside of modern networks as well. Uh, and then we'll move into the operational side of networking because that's going to be important too. You know, once we've implemented it, uh, you know, implemented networks in these various technologies is important to maintain them and maintain them in an operational state. So that will be another domain that we're going to be diving into. And, well, like just most IT infrastructure today, it's going to be important to be able to secure that infrastructure. So we'll also introduce you to the concepts of network security in one domain. Likewise, we'll look at a variety of different techniques, maybe technologies, maybe some of the technologies that you've already been familiar with coming over from A+. And that's why CompTIA recommends A+, because there is some overlap in the Net Plus exam. And then finally, the last domain that we're going to look at when it comes to our overall structure of the course is going to be troubleshooting. How do we take some of the concepts that we've learned, some of the imp uh, implementations, the operations, some of that security, and let's face it, if things don't go right, how do we get that network back online or how do we maintain the consistency of our network operations through troubleshooting, Ronnie? So that's a little bit about what you can expect when you start this course. All right, with this being a new iteration of the exam, and that's why we're also doing this course uh, as well, what can you tell us about some of the details about the exam? Sure. So let's go ahead. I'm actually up on uh, CompTIA's website. I would encourage any of you, if you are starting out uh, with uh, this Net Plus exam, uh, we are up at uh, comptia.org forward slash certifications, and then it's forward slash network. And I have just the, uh, what does it say, pound exam detail. So basically what you can do is just go to the Network Plus page on CompTIA's website, and really you can either scroll down to the bottom or you can just click 
uh, the exam details. You can also get a good overview as to what to expect uh, out of the objectives for the N10008. So looking at the exam uh, itself, the exam structure really follows uh, some of the previous revisions of the Net Plus exam. Uh, you can see that they also have N10007 here, uh, which is going to be retiring. Make sure that you uh, understand which exam objective, uh, body of objectives you want to uh, study for, because that's going to be reflective on the exam that you take. Uh, and we can see uh, that this allows us, you know, uh, part of the exam here is to validate the technical skills needed to establish, uh, maintain, and trouble troubleshoot all of the essential networking uh, concepts that businesses use to support themselves on a daily basis. And if we look at uh, the number of questions, this really hasn't changed much uh, over the years and different editions, or re again, revisions, I should say, uh, of the Net Plus exam. Uh, you can see it's going to be 90 questions. They're going to be multiple choice uh, and potentially not only multiple choice, but multiple answers as well, uh, as well as some performance-based questions where you might see things like drag and drops. You might see scenarios uh, with dr diagrams. You might even see interactive screens that you have to work with to really just to prove to the exam vendor, in this case CompTIA, that you really have an understanding of the topics. Uh, the length of the test is going to be 90 minutes. Uh, keep in mind that you might see a couple of surveys, a uh, pre-survey prior to starting the exam, a post-survey after the exam is over, that doesn't adversely affect your score. You will be given 90 minutes uh, you know, test taking time or exam time uh, to complete this exam. Uh, you can see the recommended experience that Ronnie and I were kind of talking about, A-plus certification, nine to 12 months experience uh, in just general networking. Uh, and you can see the languages that are associated with these uh, exams. Uh, you know, we are going to be uh, doing this one in English, <laughs> uh, but pay attention uh, if you are taking this in any other language. And then you can also see the uh, testing providers that are available here. There are testing centers that are offered uh, by Pearson View. There's also an online uh, testing platform that you can take that if you can't get to a brick and mortar location to take the exam, you can take it online. Uh, pay attention to both these links because they will offer you the step-by-steps and some of the prerequisites that you have to meet in order to take this exam, whether you take it in person at a brick and mortar place or whether you take it online through some location like your work, if you will, or maybe a home office if you have it. Currently, the price of this exam is going to be $338. US uh, We are talking about, uh, you know, our, our locale here, the United States, so uh, this is US dollars here, so pay attention to whatever it might be uh, based on where your geographical location is. But that's a little bit of the exam. The one thing that I didn't say is what is the passing score? Well, the passing score for uh, the Network Plus exam is going to be 720, and their scale for CompTIA on all their exams are 100 to 900 points so that you, you um, have to be aware that you will require a 720 to pass this. But right now, Ronnie, that's uh, really a little bit about the exam, the exam format, and what some of the viewers can expect when they decide to take the Net Plus exam. All right. Uh, also, why are you excited about this particular course? Well, you know, Ronnie, I've seen this course uh, and this exam go through uh, quite a few revisions, and uh, I really like, uh, you know, hardware aspect. I like the networking aspect, so uh, I really get excited when we get to um, – really change people's lives. I work with a lot of career changers that come in and maybe they're trying to better their, themselves and maybe get into the IT world. So I really like teaching the core foundational um, CompTIA exams, A+, Net+, and Security+, because it helps people like myself who were a career changer as well uh, potentially get that job that they've been looking for and better and enrich their lives a little bit more. So uh, I absolutely love what I do and I love this course and I can't wait for you all to join us. All right. Well, that sounds exciting to me. And hopefully it's also exciting to you as we get started in the N10008. And if you're ready to get started, all it is is the very next click right there in the video list. Thank you for watching IT Pro TV.